In the year 2070, technology has made such massive leaps to the point where the world as we know it has changed dramatically. In today's video, we travel 50 years into the future and explore some incredible technological breakthroughs that we might just have gotten accustomed to by then. Of course, all the predictions being made right now won't come true, but they certainly are exciting to think about nonetheless. Welcome to another video from Future Tech Enthusiast. Before we jump right in, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure to hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever we release new videos. Fusion Power The first technology on our list is fusion power. By the year 2070, at least one fusion reactor will already be present in most advanced nations, either operational for commercial purposes or under construction. The idea behind fusion power is to use the heat produced by nuclear fusion processes to create electricity. Energy is released when two lighter atomic nuclei fuse to have a heavier nucleus. Fusion reactors are machinery created to capture this energy. The 1940s saw the start of research on these reactors, but progress has been modest. While electric-based initiatives have been sweeping the globe, big advances in nuclear power will likely occur during the next few decades. Fusion power reactors will provide a plentiful, clean, and secure source of electricity. Artificial Superintelligence Next up on our list is Artificial Superintelligence ASI. This is a type of AI that can outperform human intelligence by displaying cognitive and evolving thinking abilities. Artificial Superintelligence, often referred to as Super AI, is thought to be the most sophisticated, potent, and intelligent kind of AI. It surpasses the intelligence of some of the greatest brains the world has ever known including Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking. By 2070, these machines will be widespread throughout our planet. Superintelligent machines are self-aware and capable of conceptualizing concepts and interpretations that are impossible for humans. This is because just a small number of the human brain's few billion neurons are actually capable of thinking. An ASI can comprehend and interpret human emotions and experiences in addition to mimicking the multifaceted human behavioral intelligence. Fully Automated Homes In industrialized countries, buildings will have become incredibly mechanized and self-sufficient by 2070. Specific areas of these automated homes will be changed to the owner's preferences. Since owners might prefer different designs, they'll be given options to orient the landscape of their house as per their choice. The structure itself may be able to produce energy using a mix of photovoltaic and piezoelectric components. Thanks to organic solar technology, almost all solar light's wavelengths can be absorbed by walls, roofs, and windows. Rainwater is collected via external guttering, stored, and purified using nanofiltration devices. Using this storage method, water can be reused instead of wasted. Since it's expected that the world will undergo a water shortage by the year 2050, there's a chance that this specific technology might arrive earlier than expected. Windows can self-adjust their size, location, opacity, and more to maximize the amount of natural light. The entire facade of some of the more upscale buildings can change in texture and look. The air in the house is always clean, fresh, and free of dust and microorganisms. The whole inside of the building is covered in holographic generators, including the walls, doors, worktops, mirrors, and shower stalls. These intelligent surfaces may show information whenever and wherever required while tracking the residence's location. It may also be used to read emails, view news articles, and access the internet from anywhere in the home. By 2070, most appliances that don't maintain or repair themselves in some way will be rendered obsolete it will be highly uncommon to need to bring in a human engineer. Advanced Nanotech Clothing The capabilities of earlier generations of nanotech clothing have been enhanced by modern textiles, which have improved many of the underlying technologies. In the year 2070, clothing previously restricted to science fiction has been produced via a complicated synthesis of nanotechnology, biotechnology, claytronics, metamaterials, and other components. Despite being primarily used by elites, government forces, and specialized employees, some of these suits are beginning to enter the mainstream. Self-assembling nanotechnology has been used in construction for many years. Until now, the procedure could only be carried out with extensive, noticeable gear, nanofabrication, 
or items suspended in catalytic fluid tanks. However, more nuanced and quick creation of macro-scale things in a more compact form is now possible because of recent developments in nanorobotics. Space Elevators As early as 1895, when Russian physicist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky first considered the notion of a space elevator, in the middle of the late 20th century, as the space race began and manned visits to Earth orbit grew more frequent, several more comprehensive plans emerged. Access to near-Earth space, the Moon, Mars, and other planets and moons would be revolutionized if a space elevator could significantly lower the cost of entering orbit. Such a project, however, was made impractical for the time being due to upfront cost and the degree of technology necessary, relegating it to the realm of science fiction. Due to advancements achieved with carbon nanotubes, the idea was given increased intention in the early years of the 21st century. A material with extremely high tensile strength and a low density might be created for the elevator cable using these cylindrical molecules. After several years of struggles and more than a decade of construction, by the mid-2070s, the first space elevator is likely to become operational. Underground towers has become common. Global inequality has been influenced by climate. By founding brand new micronations, a super wealthy elite which today includes several trillionaires, sought to protect their interests. Others went to the waters to construct gigantic floating islands and underwater dwellings, while some decided to invest in locked towns with regulated access and military protection. An expanding ecosystem of space-based homes offered another escape option as the planet reached the 21st century's second decade. In the late 2060s, underground towers, often called earth scrapers, became the fourth alternative with broad economic and technological feasibility. These can extend hundreds of meters below the Earth's surface and use cutting-edge building materials, structural methods, self-sufficient power generation, food and water production, completely automated recycling, and other technologies. Unlike the overground micronations, most subsurface homes benefit from being practically immune to nuclear war and other external dangers. Because of their physical toughness, they are becoming more appealing as long-term investments. Massive Autonomous Container Vessels Shipping firms started using container boxes more often in the 1960s. These made it possible to group freight and items into bulkier, unitized loads that could be carried, stacked, and packed neatly onto a ship or yard. There was an increasing need for more extensive seagoing boats as the economy progressed and society became more globally interconnected. The largest ships in the early 1970s could accommodate 2,000 TEU, with TEU referring to a measure of the number of 20-foot containers the ship can hold. The following decades saw a significant improvement in carrying capacity. They had surpassed 15,000 TEU by 2010 and frequently topped 23,000 TEU by 2020, a substantial improvement over 50 years ago. A century after their invention, Container ships will have grown to enormous sizes by the late 2060s, with the largest ships being able to carry upwards of 50,000 TEU. These ships won't just be bigger, they'll also be entirely automated. The 2020s saw the emergence of ports with automated infrastructure, and the ships of the 2070s are also AI-controlled. Since the ships can run totally on their own and eliminate any prospect of hostage snatching, the days of piracy are long gone. Another development is that the whole world's shipping fleet is now 100% sustainable thanks to the decommissioning of all older ships and the adoption of worldwide emission standards by newer vessels. Space Travel and Tourism By the late 21st century, more remote regions in the outer solar system have become the frontiers of human space travel, replacing the Moon, Mars, and the inner solar system. Over the past century, there has been a significant decrease in the price of launching people and goods into space. 100 years ago, the cost per kilogram was $85,000. Now, it's less than a dollar. Due to the recent creation of a space elevator and the generation of rockets and spacecraft, even those with relatively low salaries now have access to Earth's orbit. Guided lunar surface trips are an option for the more daring. These are often only available to those with above-average salaries because they are a little more pricey and complex. In addition, 
Anything longer than an introductory tour takes commitment and training, making it familiar to be viewed as a very severe leisure sport, similar to old school mountain climbers or deep sea divers. The Apollo landing sites, which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites ringed by perimeter fence, are among the most well-liked tourist locations. A significant number of mining activities for human visitation are anticipated around near-Earth objects, main belt asteroids, and others, with some as far out as the Trojans of Jupiter around 2070. These operations will expand on similar operations already active on the Moon and Mars, and will produce an abundance of formerly rare metals and minerals, which will cause the price of some commodities to drop dramatically. Powerful artificial intelligence is in charge of the operations, which are nearly automated and require little human involvement. Our world in 2070 will be incredibly different from what it is now. There's no doubt about that. The advancements taking place will be incomparable to our technology right now. However, all of this is yet to be seen, but we are certainly excited about its prospects. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos in the future. If you have any feedback or suggestions for future topics you'd like us to cover, then we'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. See you next time.